Hi, this is Richard Harris from Feedside. Welcome to the weekly update. The cryptocurrency market has crashed. Tech stocks are down and US GDP was down in Q1. So are we entering a recession? And if so, what does it actually mean for those of us in fraud, risk and financial crime? If you look at the marketplace since records began in the US, there have been 35 recessions since 1854. The most recent of those was in 2020 when the pandemic hit. It was also the shortest recession on record, lasting only two months. So if we want to know what's going to happen in the marketplace over the next few months and we believe there really is a recession coming, then we probably have to look back as far as 2008. I remember that time in banking and fraud and risk. Fraud was definitely in the news. Bernie Madoff was in trouble for the Ponzi scheme he put in place. If you look at the retail markets and what was going on then, fraud was right at the forefront. What we saw was a massive rise in first party fraud, mortgage fraud, applications for credit cards, applications for loans. And at the center of this was identity theft and phishing. Back then, the way that you fish people's identities or scammed them was getting them to respond to a mobile phone number on a poster tied to a lamppost in an intersection. But these days, it's far more likely that the fraud is going to slide into your DMs on Instagram. So how's that going to happen today? Well, identity theft is still going to be a big deal. We're still going to see account takeover, but the scam is going to be the front and center of this because increasingly the way to deal with this, if you're a fraudster, is not to take over the account. That's hard. Not to do the phishing. That can be slow and painful. What I really need to do is get through you. I need to hack you, the account holder, because then I can guarantee that with your biometrics, your passwords, your two-factor authentication, I'm going to make sure that I get the money out of your account. So we're already seeing the first wave of this happen in Europe. In countries like the UK, scams are now the number one mechanism for takeover. And we also know that black market activity is going to increase as the legitimate market is put under pressure. Money laundering activity will increase because those scams and those criminal processes need a way to wash the cash and get it back into their circulation. So if I was working in banking right now, what would I be doing? Number one, I'd be looking at the front door, your identity processes and your own account opening. What you need to do is make sure you don't let the bad actors in, in the first place. Number two, you need to be looking at things in an event-based way. Back in 2008, it would take two or three days for an ACH transaction. Now it can come out in seconds. So you need to be in a position to be able to stop that when it really happens. And finally, what you need to do is take a holistic view. You need to have all that data that you can bring to bear in real time to make sure that you're making the right decision. So look, I can't tell you if there's going to be a recession or not. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I can say is if I was in that position right now, I'd be getting prepared because what you won't be able to do in this marketplace is get that preparation done when the wave of fraud hits. And if there is going to be a recession, session, it will come. This has been Richard Harris for Feedside. That was your weekly update.